All right, hey guys, we're back, and as you can see here, I'm recording over the movie again, mainly because I may be looking up some decks. <laughs> Excuse me. So basically, I just want to go over the real King's Cup, the one that actually happened in real life. I watched a bit of it. Obviously, I didn't watch all six hours of it. I watched a few of the YouTubers battle, and... Every YouTuber did poorly except for Chief Pat, and there's a reason for that. Well, Molt, Nick, and Yarn were just messing around. That is a game with Molt, Nick, and Night, and Orange Juice, if you're curious. They were just messing around. The others, I wasn't sure. Clash of Ashes is the usual stuff. He doesn't really try. He's just a showman, as you guys know. But, um, Pat was there really seriously, and he was really going for it, and he ended up losing to the eventual winner, which I think was Yao Yao or something like that, some Japanese guy. But, I mean... Do I have anything else to say? You know, Pat, for some reason, I just don't like Pat's videos. It's just, like, a lot of YouTube, like, I can watch a lot of YouTubers, like, any of the Minecraft ones. I could watch all of the Minecraft, the big, the big Minecraft YouTubers. I could watch any of them if I wanted to, really. I mean, I've done it all before. For some reason in Clash Royale, I just can't watch Pat's videos. Like, also, it's, like, so, like, no emotion or just, it's all, like, I'm just broadcasting. What's all that about? Hold on, my dog's going crazy. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but either way, for some reason, I, Pat's just not... I don't, I don't know, I just don't... I'm just not as fond of Pat's videos. I think it's all, like, too serious. Like, no actual, like, fun involved in his videos. They're just boring, so... To see him go out there and go further, I expect it because he's so serious in his videos too. But a little bit disappointing, but I am glad that the others went out there and had some fun. Nick using his graveyard spell and of course Molt with his giant skeleton. I love Molt's personality and just how he like can mess around and use any deck at all that he wants. Which is why I think I'm going to actually upgrade my giant skeleton very soon. <coughs> and we're going to go out and use a giant skeleton one time. However, I've been building a new deck here that has to do with the Golem. I need to upgrade it, obviously, but Golem Graveyard, the Golem is really strong right now. I will tell you that. Can anyone friendly battle? I am recording. Just because I want, because this will get upgraded to level 4, and this will get upgraded to the regular level, and so will this if I'm in a friendly battle, because everything gets tournament standard. So I just want to show you guys how this really works. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Um, Gar Garvorn. Okay, so basically, we're going to immediately with these golem decks, if you can, pump up, because they cost a lot. So he's got a P.E.K.K.A., which is another strong unit. One of the big differences, though, is that we have a pump. I hope he doesn't have three musketeers. I don't have a direct counter to that. All right, come on, people. So we start with an ice wizard here. What's he got? Mega minion. Let's go princess here. He's doing that. Let's actually graveyard. We're going to zap. This is not going well for us right now at all. We're going to freeze all that. Come on, take out. Yes, they took out the Valkyrie, which is actually really darn good. We did have to use our graveyard defensively, unfortunately. But at that point, what else are we supposed to do? This deck works for late game stuff. Let's drop the Mega Minion there to focus on that Princess. We're going to drop another Pump here. And let his Ice Wizard do its thing. Ice Wizard for the Hog. Zap to get rid of those Fire Spirits. Hog's going to take that tower. It looks like I, I'm going to Ice Spirit it to save it for now. Okay, I'm going to wait till Double Elixir here to go in for the Golem. A Valkyrie. Why is he still pushing that lane? Does he like not have a Zap or something? He should realize that that tower is done. I mean... I have no building in here. I should put a tombstone in here, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. There you go. That's a smart play. And he did some damage to the pump. So this guy happened to have very good counters for this deck. All right, now it's time. 
to go golem here. This is going to be big because he just played his P.E.K.K.A., which is perfect. We're going to focus on our push here. Let's go Princess with this. Ice Spirit. We're actually going to go the Mega Minion on this side to make sure that we defend that P.E.K.K.A., okay? And here we go. Here's where the Golem is really strong because we're actually going to throw a second Golem in here and a Princess. We're going to Ice Spirit the Valkyrie. Two Golems are heading to his tower. Our Mega Minions are doing an excellent job. He can't do anything. There goes the Graveyard. And that is where that deck is deadly. Double Golem going in there. The Golem is just so... And look at that Mega Minion. Ignored. Oh, no. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, wow. Well played with that Hog. However, this Golem should actually end this. Oh, yes, that princess is going to do it. Yes. Good game. And that's what I mean. This guy with that, I'm going to give him that hog push. Wow, that first hog push was very well played. The sheer power that the golem brings now, I mean, it, here's the thing. If they counter the golem with a minion horde, the explosion of a level 4 golem kills the minion horde. It's insane. However, I'm not at the right amount yet to get a level 4 golem, meaning it's not worth me using it right now. But you can see there in a friendly battle with level 4, insanity comes from this. I mean, literally, insanity. <laughs> Only thing I don't like is the princess, as you probably expect. I'm not the biggest princess fan, but I can't really think of anything else to use. I think I'm fine with that. Okay, so I think that's fine. <laughs> this is my regular deck, as you guys do know. I don't really know what I want to do right now. I just did that. Um, should we do another King's Cup challenge? I don't, know, I don't think I have time right now to do another one of those. That's the unfortunate thing. So, um, we still have, the, I'm trying to think, do we want to use a random deck and see? We still have this deck saved here. I haven't used this one in forever, my goodness. <laughs> oh, but I don't even know if it's good anymore. <laughs> I wonder Goblin Barrel Graveyard. Let's try that. Hold on. I want to see. I want to see how this works. We have a mirror in here too. I want to see how this works, guys. If this guy is, he probably left because I beat him. Because the others only these five people online now. They're worth six. Come on, people. Okay, Garvorn, come on. All right. Well, I'm actually gonna leave this one at the graveyard. That actually looks pretty darn nice. I will say. Um. Stick with this guy for now. Although, I am really liking this, just using it more and more. I mean, the Golem is just, right now, it's just so strong. I mean, it is so strong right now. It's insane. Um, what did I say I needed in this? A Tombstone. Oh. I got an idea, guys. Where is it? Oh, that looks interesting. I like this. No more princess. And a tombstone. <laughs> this looks pretty nice. I gotta say, this looks pretty nice. I am liking the looks of this immediately. As soon as I put that tombstone in, I am liking the looks of this, guys. Not going to upgrade it right now, though, because I want these upgraded. But I think I'm feeling pretty good. But, yes, that's my... I just wanted to give you guys a recap on the King's Cup and show you that deck. Um, oh, boy, we're getting lag now. Um, certainly went okay. I'll say that. So I'll see you guys later when we do some more challenges. Or probably not later. This will probably be it. I probably did my last King's Cup in the other video I made. So take care, guys.